for Donald Trump, whose loud, brash, chaotic presidential election campaign concluded with the fairy tale ending of settling into the White House as 45th President of the United States of America. There seemed to be no mountain, his world class ego, strong, most definitely not small hands, and magnificent mane of healthy, immaculately coiffed hair, could not move and dispense into the ocean by sheer force of will. Unfortunately, even that which is surreal and absurd, like Trump in his election to the most powerful political office on earth, is in fact all too susceptible to the laws of political reality. The new Trump administration, for all its initial pomp and circumstance, seemed to be headed into a messy and protracted winter of discontent. A political machine in disarray. Each passing day brings with it more chaos, more public scorn, more images of senior advisor Steve Bannon looking like a particularly vile and debased creature straight from the pages of a 19th century German children's fable. At the center of this maelstrom, a cavalcade of ridiculous characters vying for the opportunity to serve in Trump's cabinet. Chief among them are Rex Tillerson, candidate for Secretary of State, former CEO of ExxonMobil, and friends with Russian President Vladimir Putin, seen here showing off his baloney titan on horseback. Betsy DeVos, Trump's pick for Secretary of Education, a woman who has never seen the inside of a public school, yet would be responsible for running the nation's public education system. First of all, thank you um, for that question. Here she has seen Again, at her Senate confirmation office, hearing uh, being week. rigorously um, questioned by Senator Bernie Sanders, who is currently serving as President of the United the States in an adjacent, far less shitty alternate family. reality. That's, that's possible. Okay. My question is, and I don't mean to be rude, but do you think if you were not a multi-billionaire, if you, a family, has not made hundreds of millions of dollars of contributions to the Republican Party, that you would be sitting here today? And um, lastly, Senator, as candidate for U.S. Attorney General, Senator Jefferson Beauregard Sessions III, a man whose views on politics and race are as antiquated and absurd as his name would imply. Here we see the senator engaged in one of his favorite extracurricular activities in his home state of Alabama. Given the fact that no known human yet possesses the power of clairvoyance, it is impossible to declare with any certainty what the future holds for this new president and his motley crew. But if we take into account the events of the present, we can extrapolate from there a future that might be if current trends continue. In short, the outlook for the nation looks about as healthy as Steve Bannon's face on the front cover of this week's Time magazine.